Right here, I got a new alarm in the mail yesterday, and here it is. So, as you can see, it's a ceiling mount device. I've got the fire lettering on the sides here. Got a metal grill. The candela selection potentiometer is right in there. 15, 30, 75, and 110. And here's the back. You have a potentiometer for frequency control, and you have a potentiometer for volume control. And you have four terminals down here. Signal is the left two, and the strobe is the right two. This is Siemens U-EC-MCS-C. This is a chime strobe. Ceiling mounted multi-candela. And, and yeah. Signaling appliance for the hearing impaired private mode only per NFPA 72. So, features about this chime. R10, this resistor up here. With it intact from the factory, this chime does a continuous stroking output. If you cut out this resistor, this chime will turn single stroke, which would mean that you can code it to an MDL or any fire alarm panel that can do, that can do a coded output of any kind. J1 and J2 down here, these jumper wires, these must be cut if you are going to synchronize the strobe and or if the, if the audible circuit will be coded to ensure proper operation, obviously. So if you want, so if you want to synchronize the strobe, like, um, you have to cut J1 and J2 and the strobe and the and the pair of wires for the strobe has to be separate from the pair of wires for the signal if you're going to do if you're going to do continuous output on this device so yeah it's pretty self-explanatory um I'll go ahead and uh, get this thing wired up and I'll probably cut J1 and J2 so I can do some tests here <laughs> 